The year was 1980-something, and the toy company's quest to sell young boys anything that shot lasers and transformed brings us to the show Mask. And today, I'm making the mask from Mask. Being a cartoon show from the 80s, continuity in the animation was not a thing. As you can see from these examples, this project was not easy to find a good screenshot of. Every shot was different. And then you get into some comic books where it is completely different from the cartoon show. So this is my representation of that. I did the best I could. I took a little leeway with how I thought this would actually look in real life and went from there. And just for those of you playing along at home, here's the material list for everything that I use to build this. This helmet is a good old-fashioned foam smithing project, which presented all kinds of fun challenges for me along the way. The biggest challenge was, there was no pattern for this. I had to freehand pretty much the entire thing. The only pattern I did use was a modified Paladin helmet from Evil Ted. Once I had the base helmet cut out and glued together, it became a crazy game of trial and error. I went one section at a time, working my way around the helmet, cutting, shaping, and sanding. This project got its beginnings in 2020. The pajama route was still haha -ha funny, and I thought if I'm gonna need the proper PPE, then why not make it something I enjoyed from my childhood? And then, then things took a turn. And now here we are three years later, and Matt Tracker's helmet has finally been unearthed for its big moment in the sun. the helmet now shaped the way I wanted, it was time to prep this bad boy for paint. The first step is to make those seam lines disappear. Quick seal acrylic caulk is my go-to for on foam props. Then on to Plasti Dip. Once the plastic dip had dried, it was now time to add some color to this thing. I did so using Platifex Flexible Acrylic Paints. The next step to this project was the visor, and just like everything else, no pattern existed, so I had to manufacture my own. I started with a paper pattern just to make sure everything fit, and then I transferred that to a sheet of blue transparent plastic. We release new videos every week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop.
blue plastic wasn't quite visory enough, so a light coat of chrome silver on the back side of the visor did the trick. After filling in a couple holes in the top of the visor, the next hurdle I had to clear was the neck piece, or cowl, or gasket, whatever you want to call those two looking things in the bottom of the helmet. And again, there was a fair amount of trial and error. Finding something that would hold its shape but still fit around my shoulders was a tad bit difficult. Ultimately, I settled on these half dowels. I glued those in place, filled in some gaps, and painted them to match the rest of the helmet. With that, my journey into one of my favorite childhood shows comes to a close. And the last thing I have to do is show you all the final sexy shots. Now at the end of the video. So bye. Transformed and they shot lasers. The only criteria I need for a show. It wasn't hard to please me. <laughs> I was a child of the 80s and I liked lasers and I liked things that transformed and I liked fast cars and planes. So really the show hit everything I needed in my life. Just give me a bowl of Fruit Loops and I was, I was good to go.